Welcome to part 4 of developing this invoice management system and in this one we're gonna do the setup for a database server okay so I mean we're gonna configure our application to use a MySQL database server okay as usual we have all the codes on the side okay now the first step is to install mysql server that is if you don't have it installed yet we're going to install mysql server we're going to install workbench and some prerequisites all right so i already have mysql server workbench and the prerequisites installed but if this is the first time you're doing it you're going to do sudo app install them sql server the lib mysql client you're going to install the python dev and workbench so this command will be able to install all of these at once okay when i mean at once it will install mysql server then install this that and then finally mysql workbench when installing the mysql server it's gonna ask for a root password so you're gonna supply this um, during the installation okay and make sure you remember that because if you're logging into the workbench or the database server you will require it will require this for some uh actions like if you want to do some uh creating of database and stuff like that you're just gonna ask for this password okay so make sure you remember the password that you use during the installation all right so after installing the prerequisite you're gonna install the mysql client and this is gonna be done in the virtual environment okay so that means you have to uh activate your environment then you do pip install mysql client all right so i've already done this as well but the steps are just straightforward all right so once you're done with all of those steps above you're gonna move to step three and step three is to create the database and we're gonna also create the username that we're gonna use to manage the database all right or the table okay so i'm gonna configure my application to use a database name invoice mgmt and i'm gonna create a username called invoice mgmt and also the password will be invoice mgmt so i'm gonna use this to make it easy for me to remember all of these parameters all right so to do this um, i'm gonna open mysql workbench and walk you through how to go about this all right so i'm gonna open workbench workbench is open so i've already have this local instance and i'm gonna supply the password and then um, create a database that I want to use for Django now if you look into this section I have multiple databases right here so uh, right here I have invoice okay and I have another one okay so that's the one I'm using I'm gonna show you how to create the database okay uh, but this is what I'm currently using on the application all right so to create a database I'm gonna click on this button right here and I'm gonna give it a database name okay so this is the parameters right here the database name will be invoice MGMT I'm gonna copy and paste it right here all right so that's gonna be the database name I'm gonna click apply okay I'm gonna click apply again all right so that database is created now if I refresh here you're gonna see invoice MGMT that is right here if I expand it there is no table associated to it right so the table is empty now i'm going to create a username that we'll be using to uh set permissions to be able to manage this database right here okay you can use root to configure this application but uh, it is not the best practice usually i create a username for each of these tables or the, each of these databases okay so to create a username i'm going to use the same username right here invoice mgmt okay i'm going to copy that and then move to the uh, invoice or move to the workbench right here users and privileges I'm gonna click it and then I'm gonna click add user or add account and the username will be invoice MGMT so I'm gonna use the same password okay the same invoice MGMT as a password I know the password is weak but just to make it easy on ourselves I'm gonna use the same username and password okay or the same word for username and password I'm gonna click uh, schema privileges I don't want this to have uh, the permission to manage all the database so I'm gonna go to pre uh, schema privileges and add entry 
okay I'm gonna say selected schemas so I'm gonna open this and choose invoice and GMT okay I'm gonna click OK and now for this specific database the invoice and GMT I'm gonna grant all of these rights for that particular username okay so I'm gonna select all okay and then I'm gonna click apply great so this is what I'm supposed to do at in workbench okay this is what I'm supposed to do in workbench all right so now I can switch over to the application and configure it to use this database and this is the settings that you needed to add or these are the parameters that you need to put in our settings the py file okay and this settings the py file is found in the project all right so I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna copy and open sublime or any text editor that you use all right so this is the um, the project that we are working on all right so the last video we've seen how to create these projects and the application so right in the project you're gonna expand this and then in settings file this was the default config okay it was like this So this was the default config. It was gonna use um, the SQLite 3 database as the database of the application. So I always comment this and then paste the new code right here. So we're gonna use the engine will be the MySQL. Okay, this will be the name of the database. Then this will be the username and then the password will be right here. So if I save this, okay, I'm gonna save it and then open the application. I'm gonna navigate into where I install the application. All right, the environment. I'm gonna activate the environment. Okay, then we're gonna move into SRC and then run the server. Okay, we have 18 unapplied migrations your project may not work properly until you apply the migrations for apps admin these are the apps that we need to apply the migrations for okay you have admin you have art you have content types session all right so now uh, to apply these migrations is what we have right here okay we're gonna do uh, python manager py migrate okay and then we're gonna do run our server again to confirm that everything is okay so i'm going to stop the server and do python manager py migrate okay so now this django is creating the tables that we need for all this application right here okay and remember in the last video we had this application created invoice in gmt but like i said if I open invoice MGNT, we have the model right here, but the model is empty. That means we don't have any tables for this application. We don't, we've not created any table yet, so it's not going to do any migration for this app. Okay, but by default, Django comes with all these applications, the admin of the content tab and session. So they all have their databases created by default, so it's going to use these codes to create the tables in your new created database all right so you can see it is creating uh, uh or running a migration for authentication app the admin app the content types app and the session app right here all right so for authentication you have multiple migrations running for that particular app which is the content or the auth app okay so now once this is done i can move to workbench to confirm that these tables are created like now we have the table and if i refresh it you're going to see that we have a plus button right here that shows that we've had tables created in here you can see this plus if i click it okay you have the art group you have art group permission art permissions users you have the Django content type, you have Django admin, you have this session right here in migration. So these are the tables that we created using that migrate command. Okay. Now if I right click this and say, um, if I come down a bit and select uh, alter schema, 
you're gonna see the table that was created right here okay if that can be loaded okay I'm gonna try another one let's say odd group I'm gonna say odd group all the table Right, so you can see the odd group have a table called odd group and that it has two columns in it the first column is the id column and then you have the name column and these are the parameters for that particular columns okay all right so i hope you understand what is going on here how to configure Django to use mysql database so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click on that like button and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below see you in the next video